So in today's Minecraft World Let's Play, we work in the kingdom and essentially make a marketplace for all the food and all of our crops. It's a really interesting build episode, so make sure you watch until the end. Also, if you're watching my videos like this, make sure to turn it this way, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. You can go back to watching videos. I'd really appreciate it. We're really close to 70,000 subscribers, so that'd be amazing if we can reach that maybe by the end of this month. All right, so let's see if we can reach a thousand likes in today's episode. And without further ado, check out this random funny video. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Royal Let's Play. Today, we're going to be working back in the kingdom, as you guys know from the introduction. And check it out. This is what I've been doing in uh, the off-screen work currently. Now, this over here, if you can tell, this was a small little village a house. It was, I think it, this was the butcher house that we had originally. And I decided to officially completely take it down. And all I've done is just kind of added around the structure so you guys can see where it was originally. So, as you can see, we got to take down these walls. I've done a little bit of structure design now. The theme of this... Uh, this whole entrance here that I, this whole design is essentially to keep it like an open style uh, Marketplace, right? This is gonna be the area where we can get like all the food that we want It's right across from the farm and it's in the center of the village So I figured it'd be the perfect area for us to actually get this whole place uh, Looking like a nice market now. It is currently fairly small I would say but at the moment I think we're just gonna keep it at this size and eventually expand it into something a little bit more Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to completely remove everything here now we we have the cauldrons. We have two cauldrons now. We're going to use that for our design. We're going to get rid of this bed. We're going to get rid of literally everything that you see here, and it's all going to be placed back, so don't worry about that. Also, a lot of you guys have been saying in the comment sections to build a little house for Hunter, and wait, that just reminds me, actually. Check this out. I'm going to show you guys what I was able to manage to pull off off screen. Check it out. We have ourselves another pet. It's a cat, so you guys in the comment sections have to come up with a name for this cat, okay? So that's, that's your task in the comment sections, everyone. All right. All right, let's go back and work on this marketplace real quick. All right, so as you guys can tell, we're just going to take out the flooring for now, and then we're going to add a little bit more detail to the outside of the structure. I have a basic idea in mind, and as you can tell, it's kind of already taking place. As you can see, the bottom of the uh, entrances here is going to be uh, stone, and then we're going to have some fences. Now, the dirt over here has to go. We don't need this dirt anymore. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the trap doors. Perfect. And we have to get rid of those. I forgot about that. That was hiding. So let's get our uh, stripped oak. Place it down there. And as you can tell, there's little sections here that we're going to have our oak sticking out from the side like this to give it more of a design. I think it looks really good. The roof looks also very simple. I think it has a nice medieval look to it. So you guys can uh, let me know in the comment sections. But we're just going to continue adding the stripped oak. Oh, great. It's raining. Okay, let's go place our bed here and get some rest. Now that hopefully it stops raining, we can continue on working. I honestly, I don't know about you guys. Did I see, did I see a fox? Oh, it's another cat. There's a lot of cats around the village. I have no no idea why. Um, all right, so let's just let's carry on. Let's just see. We got a few more places around here to put the uh, stripped oak like that. Okay, cool. So the final thing that I want to continue adding is we need to have our slabs. Oh wait, do we not have any more? Oh great. So we have to actually. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure we have some slabs. Uh, we do not have slabs anymore. Okay, I, I guess I ran out of making slabs. So, oh. Oh my gosh, where did that creeper come from, guys? We, oh my gosh. Okay, let's just store all this stuff in here. There's another creeper. Where are they coming from? Was it from the rain? I, I definitely think it was from the rain. It's gonna have to do some uh, current construction. We're gonna have to close the road over here, villagers. No one is allowed over here right now until we get this place up and running again. Thank goodness that this place did not completely blow up on us. Like, if we lost half of this base, I would have been I would have been crying. It would have been a really bad day for us. Okay. All right, so now that that happened, we can finally go back to working on our market. Now, I just got to keep a lookout. Is there any more creepers around here? That's, I think, the first creeper that actually blew up in the village. Okay, I'm a little paranoid now. I'm not gonna lie. That was a little bit too close for comfort. All right, let's continue taking down um, the cobblestone around here first. And as you guys can tell, this fountain, I still want it to be here in the center. Now, there's a reason why I shifted the market like a two blocks over because it was way too close to the center. And now, as you can tell, it just looks a little bit more open and it's exactly what I was trying to go for. So let's get rid of some of this cobblestone and actually place down. Hopefully we still have, oh, wow, we just really completely lost a lot of our stuff. I think it's all in these chests now so let's see where is it okay we have our cracked stone let's see is there anything else in here 
mossy stone and we need some of our okay we have our lanterns and the stairs and wood okay perfect all right that's all honestly just for a simple look now we also need to make fa oh we have fences good okay that's that's a plus right there we have already an interesting episode we already almost died so that, that's good <laughs> i want the entrance to be right here okay so as you kind of walk in we have to make a stair here that actually i don't even think we need to make a staircase we just need to put those fence posts on the side and we could add ourselves a slab right here. So that way you can still have that feeling of just walking in. And on the ground over here, I don't want to have it uh, blocks. I was thinking of actually leaving it exactly how it is. Essentially just taking out all the grass. And now, guys, I know 100% from the comment sections. I've been reading this. I say essentially a lot. I think in the last episode, Painful was, <laughs> Painful was telling me that I said essentially like five times in a matter of like 10 seconds. So we're going to try our best to not say that word like at all in this episode okay so if i do you guys can let me know in the comment section that would be it's a pretty big challenge i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit worried but we'll see what we can manage all right so i'd really just want to place uh oak uh planks here now like i said if you want to do the best or the smartest option if you're going to be doing uh flooring is to make slabs as many slabs as possible that way you kind of just save yourself uh, from overusing all of your supplies. So we're just going to put some slabs around here and then we can still design the inside and not have to worry about items floating up like this chest right here, which this chest, by the way, has a little bit of food in it already. So yeah, it just kind of works with the whole theme. You guys can let me know what your thoughts are on the whole design of having it um, in the center of the kingdom. I think this market will look great. Also, I think I will expand it more into this area in the future as we make it a little bit bigger. But as of right now, I think this is the right size since we only are like in episode 15. It's still early on, but we will uh, continue to upgrade this village. And a lot of you have been saying the village is coming along really nicely. And I'm just really happy that a lot of you like the design. I'm going to leave this chest here because as you can tell, I have no more space for inventory here. Now, we have a little bit more slabs that I need to add into the corners. Oh, wait, not just slabs, but... Let's grab the crafting table, place it in the corner. We need to have a few stairs. It's essentially going to go... I said essentially. Oh, no. It's over. I already lost. I already lost. Oh, great. That just sucks. Okay, well, I tried. Okay, I tried. Maybe you guys can pick a challenge for me to do in the next episodes. episode since I already lost uh, in my own challenge of trying not to say it in the episode. So, yeah, if you guys... Uh, yeah, you guys come up with a challenge, and I'll try to complete it in the next survival episode. Hopefully, it won't be too too difficult. And also, there's something called, like I think, like uh, the Bastion or the Bastone or whatever. I think it's called the Bastion or something. It's uh, essentially... I said it again. Oh gosh, I'm cursed with just saying that word, okay? But pretty much that place has some insane loot. It's like a better version of a fortress. So I want to actually try to find th that place um, and I'm just going to try my best and hopefully we can find it uh, maybe in the next few episodes. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding slabs all the way around here just to kind of close it up from the inside. And it doesn't look like strange um, from the inside, like having all these random holes. So we're going to put our slabs like this. Let's continue doing that. Oh, great. I just messed that up. There we go. All right, perfect. So we have all the uh, the roof is completely done. I think it looks really good. Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I also realized this area here has to be a square like this side. All the other sides are square. So it's very symmetrical looking. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now that we have all of this done, right? We mentioned earlier that what I want to do is have a lot of the farm supplies into the market area because this is going to be a place that all the villagers are going to essentially be coming in here and grab their food now there is an open space here that i just realized we can potentially expand it a little bit so what we could do is we could make this here a platform where there could be some outside villager trading if needed what are these these guys are the armory and we have a mason okay that's another thing I've done uh, off screen was I added a masonry area. So we have stone cutters. So if we add like this, we can make ourselves a lot of different stones, which you know what? That's actually really beneficial to us. So that's <laughs> I just realized we should be using these a lot more. Uh, that just helps instead of having to craft everything. Okay, perfect. So let's go inside here. I have a few items now. We have some smokers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time to try to organize this layout and then we're going to cut back in. All right. So there's a few things I want to show you guys. I completely forgot is in the new snapshot you can actually make chains now in minecraft now there's a reason why i want to do this check this out all you need is an iron and a few of the nuggets and you can literally make yourself a chain so we're gonna make i believe we can only make total of three more okay so we have a total of four 
The reason why I want this is going to be for an aesthetic feature for the market here. Um, so essentially, oh, I said essentially again. <laughs> so pretty much, uh, I also did a little bit of designing in here. The only thing I wanted to do was to strip the oak in here or the spruce, um, just to give it a little bit of a look and a little bit more texture to the flooring. I've added a little bit of crops in the corner so that it kind of looks like a market and feels like a market. Now, there's a very clear reason as to why these places are empty here. And it's also because I want to add barrels. And you guys know I like working with barrels. I think it makes builds look a million times better. So we're going to go ahead and go around here, add the barrels to the corner of the market. I don't think villagers will go ahead and change jobs. As long as they're near their workstation, they should be clearly fine. And they also have to be like isolated from their workstation. So I'm pretty sure there will be no issue with that. But it looks a million times better. Now, I also want to add a few things before we add the chains. And there's a reason why there's two slabs missing from the top over there. So we're going to add some uh, barrels in the corner here, like so. And it's just going to be a little area for storage. Not too bad. Not too, nothing too crazy, essentially. Uh, yeah, I said it again. Okay, it's, it's, at this point, I lost. Like I said, you guys make a challenge. So we're going to add the chains. They can hang from the ceiling. Uh, I want to see where I can hang them from. So that right there is perfect. So we're going to add our lantern. Oh, that looks so good. We're going to add another one from this slab here. Maybe we can add one more from here and we're going to have one more chain. Maybe we could add it outside potentially. So somewhere like, let's see, maybe from there. Let's see how that would look. That doesn't look half bad actually. And the cool part is, yeah, that actually doesn't look half bad. So we can add our lanterns on the inside, like or on the outside like this. And then from the inside, that looks so cool from it hanging. I do like that a lot. It definitely adds a lot of a, a really cool look to it. So we're going to grab the smokers and we're going to place them in the corner. And then we're going to grab the cobblestone slabs, place them right next to it. And then after that, we need our trap spruce trap doors. Close up the sides. You guys probably saw that coming. So we're going to do the same thing. Oh, let's just remove this top piece real quick. There we go. Uh, place that down. Okay. Awesome. That looks a lot nicer. And I want to put one of the cauldrons right in the center. And we do have a bucket of water. We're going to go ahead and, as you guessed it, put water in there. There we go. So we have a little workstation, um, which I'm pretty happy with. We could add some frames around here, too. Uh, I do have some leather. We might have to make some frames. We'll see. Um, do I have any leather here? No, I do not. Okay. Well, now, the next thing I wanted to do was we do have cobblestone walls. Now, there's a good thing I made these because, one, we're going to make these look similar to, like, what a chimney stack would look from a, from a um, what's it called? From a smoker. So, all the smoke, vert, like, if you think about it, is going to travel up. So, we want to make it as realistic as possible, this room. So, that is exactly what we're going to do with these cobblestone walls. We're going to block up to the top. I have a campfire, and you guys are going to see why I have a campfire. It's going to go on top of the roof. And it's going to look absolutely amazing. Now, I've done this a few times already on the survival. Uh, as you can see over there on the, um, I think that's the blacksmith. Yeah, as in the blacksmith area, you can see there's a little bit of smoke coming from the top. So all we have to do is we're going to place our campfire right in the corner. And then we're going to have our uh, spruce trap doors just going around. And you have no idea from the outside that there's actually a campfire from here. Now, it is kind of going a lot. So what we could do to slow it down is you could add a trap door. And it just slows down how much smoke we have coming from the roof. So I think that looks good. And I don't think we have to add anything else from this side. If we want to, we could make this one a little bit uneven from this one. Um, which obviously doesn't look too bad. You guys can let me know in the comment section what you think about that. But let's go ahead, remove the dirt so you guys can see what it looks like from the distance. So if we go over here... That looks really good in my opinion. You can see that there's some type of furnace going on from here. And also, it just looks really nice. So, if we put ourselves some food, let's grab some of the raw beef. Put that in there. And we could use some of the wood we have. Honestly, we can get rid of the stairs. That looks so cool. Especially because you can kind of imagine, essentially, the smoke traveling up. And you can't really see too much from here. You can't even see the campfire that much. So, I like the way it looks. You guys can let me know in the comment section what you think. I think the villagers are pretty happy with the way this is coming along. All right, let's get rid of this over here. All the items we have from there are now in our inventory. We can throw them inside these chests. That looks that looks decent. You can't really tell what's inside there, but just for the sake of it, you know, you can add stuff if you want. Now, I want to add a crafting table in here too. And I was thinking of adding it... Where, where, Let's see. Well, we should place it, honestly, um, somewhere near one of the workstations. We could just place it in the corner. 
I haven't really thought this one through. We'll place it right over. No, that's a bad. That's a really bad spot. I don't know why I wanted to place it there. We'll place it in this corner there. You know, I think that works. You walk in and you have this whole area to go and get whatever you need from the barrels for trades. Look, the villagers are even coming inside here and checking it out for themselves too because they know they can probably, you know, get a lot of food from here. And I just think it looks perfect. We'll add ourselves a lantern on the top over there. And yeah, look at them. They're all storming in here. Uh, this is great to see. All right, so that's going to conclude the market space. I do have a little bit of leaves that I would like to add around here. And then, of course, we will be getting some bone meal and making this place look a lot better by adding a lot of grass here. So we'll do that in just a second. Now, I think there is a few other things I wanted to do. Just adding a few more leaves around the corners um, adds a little bit more of a look to here. So we'll do something like this if the villager wants to move a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We can do the same thing with this side, just adding a few. Doesn't really matter how you add it. As long as we add a little bit of a design around here, I think that looks quite decent. We can also add some paths. Uh, let's see, we have to connect the path here. We have to wait for this to turn to an actual grass block in order to do that, but uh, you'll get the point of it. We can add a little bit around here, maybe one in the middle. Perfect. So I have some bone meal. I think it's in this chest over here. Let's go grab some bone meal. There we go. So we're going to use this bone. Oh, it's turning night too. So let's let's actually place the bed right over here and get some rest quickly. All right, perfect. So we're going to grab the seeds and we're just going to go around here and add our uh, just as much grass as possible. I think that will look really good, um, especially because it's just a theme of what we've been doing with the rest of the builds around here. Okay, perfect. Uh, we can add. I would like to get a flower here if it's going to work. Let's see. There we go. We'll take down the tall grass. Maybe we'll put a flower here if we can get one. Uh, no flowers really there we go perfect and we can take some of the tall grass around here don't want to have too much of it but check it out this looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie I'm really happy with the way this turned out especially with the inside uh, let me know in the comment section if there's anything else you think I should be adding to this we could add another cauldron in there um, just for the look of it. And yeah, guys, I am really happy with the way this turned out. Like I said, in the next episode, I want to go and explore some other areas. You know what this reminded me? I want to grab this composter and I'm going to toss it inside here too. Completely forgot. Composter would look pretty nice for the marketplace. But yeah, pretty happy with it. But yeah, like I said, in the next episode, I want to go ahead and try to find the uh, the new fortress, essentially. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens in the next episode, too. I don't know. Maybe uh, something crazy is going to happen. I can't really say too much about it. But yeah, we'll find out. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. And also, if you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And stay tuned for some more Minecraft or Let's Play. My name is Alex, and peace out and stay foxy.